So today I'm going to talk about a new stock that I bought into the portfolio. I did buy a new stock a couple of weeks ago, so this is the second new one that I have bought this year. And I don't generally buy too many stocks in a year. I would say around four or five stocks in a year I would normally buy, unless there's some crazy things that happen, which we've had plenty of crazy things that have happened in the stock market in the last three years. The last three years hasn't been a normal stock market, so you never know what might happen. But yeah, I would say that I don't really generally buy too many new companies, but I did buy my second new company of the year and today I'll go through the reasons why I bought it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, smash the like button. If you're new around here, subscribe and we'll get started. Now I did buy this new stock around about two weeks ago. So if you do want to know what I'm buying and selling in real time, rather than having to wait for the updates, the place to be is on the Patreon. And you guys two weeks ago and found out that I was buying this stock. And as well as that, you get two exclusive videos a week and a Discord with 600 members on to talk to about stocks, including me, and it's only £5 a month. £1.25 a week, I think it's amazing for the price and the content you get, but that's just my opinion. And just to let you know, Trading212 are currently offering a free share. If you join them, it's a platform that I use, and that free share could be worth up to £100. You can join through the link in the description. But the stock that I bought was Dark Trace. So I did buy some Dark Trace a couple of weeks ago. Now, you'll be able to see here there was this dip in the share price, and this was actually the cause that actually got me to across the line to go buy it. And I'll talk about why that dipped and why I bought it on this dip in a few minutes. Now today, I'm not gonna cover too much into the financials and the reasons behind why Dark Trace could be a good investment because around about two weeks ago, I actually posted this video here saying that I am really considering buying Dark Trace. And that's more of a deep dive into Dark Trace. It's around about 21 minutes long. And if you actually just Google, uh, YouTube, not Google, if you actually YouTube Dark Trace stock it's the number one video that comes up on the search engine so it's quite easy to find but literally after I post this video within a few days this dip happened and I was like okay now this is where I'm really interested in buying it so today I'm actually going to talk about from that video there what changed to get me across the line as a buyer rather than a deep dive so that's the video to watch if you want a bit more of a deep dive into the stock so first of all one of the reasons why I wanted to buy Dark Trace is because I am a obviously I have a US portfolio and I have a UK portfolio my US portfolio, as you probably be able to tell, is a mixture of stocks. There's a lot of growth stocks in there, there's value stocks in there, there's dividend stocks in there, and that's what I like to do. I like to be a mix between all of the three. If you're actually looking to my UK portfolio, the UK portfolio is basically value and dividend stocks. There's hardly any growth stocks in the portfolio, and with me being a bit more of a higher risk investor, with me wanting to have a bit more growth exposure, and especially with me being young, I, I want to be chasing them returns, I can afford to chase, chase them returns a little bit, I want to make sure I still have exposure to growth stocks. Now the problem is, is on the UK side of it, we hardly have any UK growth stocks on our stock exchange at the moment. And the reason why is because a lot of them avoid it, unfortunately. You know, you look at the likes of S4 Capital, which is the only UK growth stock that I have in my UK portfolio, and it's a fantastic company. I think it's the best growth stock on the UK stock market, as I've said previously. And even though it looks absolutely amazing in the last six months, you look at what happened to the share price in 2021, it got absolutely destroyed. And this is why a lot of the UK companies or growth stocks that are UK based avoid the markets because it seems like they don't seem to get correctly valued or when there is a bit of negativity, the share price just absolutely collapsed. And I think this is the same with this one here that with Dark Trace, it's a fantastic company. The share price has absolutely collapsed from here when it was nearly £10 down to where it was at nearly at, well, it actually dipped below the two pound. And I think this is just absolutely crazy. And this is why a lot of companies avoid the UK markets. So it's really hard to find UK growth stocks that are good. And this is one of them. So that's why I wanted to buy it. You know, I looked at this full, this article here by Motley Fool, which talks about the best British growth stocks to buy in January. And this, this summed up perfectly the lack of decent growth stocks that we have on this list. For example, you've got the likes of AJ Bell. AJ Bell, a growth stock, come on, give me a break. I mean, there was the likes of Greg's, you know, I'm a Greg shareholder, it's a stock that I've owned for three years. It's a stock that I, you know, obviously get good dividend off, I'm up over 100% on it. It's a stock that I sold half my position out for 100% return and it's been an absolute amazing performer for me. But let's be realistic here, we can't be calling Greg, Greg's a, a growth stock, it's, it's a value stock. And that shows you the lack of decent growth stocks that we have. And I think finally we have a growth stock here on the UK markets that is very, I, I think personally they should have listed on the US, especially when you consider the, the income that they do get from the US. And I think if it was, it would be richly, a lot more richly valued. And I think maybe one day it does move to the US or 
UK investors realize this is actually a gem that we have on the UK markets at the moment. So I wanted more exposure to growth in the UK portfolio. The second thing is I wanted to get a cybersecurity stock. One of the big things, the two of the big areas that I've been missing in my portfolio is a semiconductor play, which I have now got with AlphaWave, and another one is a cybersecurity uh, stock, and I've been missing that for a long time. The reason why I've never bought a cybersecurity stock is they're all crazy valuations, but I believe this one isn't such a crazy valuation. For this company here, you're picking up at around about 18 times free cash flow, which I think is not bad for a company that's growing at the rate that Dark Trace is at with over 30% revenue growth, which is pretty impressive. But the other thing I want to have, you know, big exposure in the cyberspace because I think this is going to be a massive area in the next 10 years. And in the last few years, it just seems like digital crime is absolutely growing massively and companies are getting more wary about this and wanting to spend more on cyber security and you can see here at the current rate of damage from cyber security attacks it will amount to 10.5 trillion and that will be a a 300 percent increase from 2015 levels as well and at the moment they are expecting 10 150 million to be spent on cyber securities um companies but the estimate, the potential estimate at the moment is that this could actually go to 1.5 trillion to 2.2 uh, to 2 trillion, which is absolutely crazy. So without doubt, the cybersecurity area is going to be massive in the next 10 years as there's more companies are spending money on it and it's also increasing with the cyber attacks that are going on. So I want to have a play in this sort of area. For me, I think Dark Trace is potentially the one that I want to be picking up. Now, when I look at Dark Trace originally, I said that for me, I did not want to buy at the moment just because of the recent trading update. The recent trading update basically said they're going to be a little bit more profitable, which is good. However, the revenue was going to be a little bit weaker because at the moment, if you look at the macro environment, companies are spending less on cybersecurity. And that caused Dark Trace to just move their revenue down, their revenue growth down slightly. Still at 30%, which is really good, but I just wanted to make sure that that weakness did not continue. That was originally what I was kind of waiting for. However, what happened is then the, the share price went boom and dropped 16%. And the actual dip here actually caused me to buy it because first of all, the stock was cheaper, but I really liked what happened when Dark Trace was attacked by a short seller report. Now this brought out a short seller report questioning the financials. It wasn't the best short report I've ever seen. Not that <laughs> any of them are normally that good, but this wasn't that good. Um, and what I was impressed by is that we had a short report and you can see here, the stock really held up pretty well considering a short seller uh, attack on it. And in fact, it, it bounced very quickly. And that said to me here that when you look at the valuation right now, what Dark Trace is at and someone throws a short report at the stock and it holds up this well i was thinking okay my concern is that if the trading update comes out a little bit weaker the share price drops a little bit more and i'll be able to buy it up cheaper but with the core shareholder base that's still in here it looks like it's a pretty strong core shareholder base that didn't get spooked by this short report and potentially this could be about the bottom for this stock you know there's not many sellers left in now you never know, <laughs> that can all change, but I thought that was, first of all, a really strong sign from the shareholders that are left in the business. The second thing is I liked how Dark Trace responded to it. So they actually posted this statement here, and if you actually go to the CEO, um, she actually posted on, I think it was LinkedIn, uh, a response to it and like just tore apart the short report, which was really good as well to see. The next thing is that the CEO then after actually tearing apart the short report, then came in with a massive insider buying. So you can see here that at £2.25, the CEO, Poppy Gustafsson, Poppy actually came in and she bought four to 8,000 ordinary shares on the market of £2.25, which is what you want to see is that, first of all, you, you tear apart the short report and then you actually go, and just to prove you how much confidence I have right now, I'm gonna buy a, a ton of shares, which is absolutely brilliant to see as well. And then the third thing that they actually did is they commenced a share buyback program. So they actually said that they're gonna buy up 35 million shares and they allocated 75 million uh, to buy back these shares at the moment. And what do we know about Trace is they currently have an amazing balance sheet. There's no debt on there and the company is valued at 1.7 billion. But if you actually look at the cash balance, they sit around about 400 million-ish in cash. So obviously you're nearly a third of the company's market cap in cash. So yeah, I've got no problem about them using a bit of cash here that they've raised to buy back some shares. That's absolutely fine. And they probably won't need the cash because actually if you look at the business, they run about a break even, so they're not really burning through that much cash. 
and actually if you look at the free cash flow point of view that we mentioned earlier they currently spit off a lot of free cash flow as well now the final concern that i originally had with dark trace is the sales and marketing spend so if you look at the sales and marketing spend it's a big chunk like the actual revenue is you know the as you can see here they grew 45 percent last year which is great uh, the gross profit as you can see here they throw off really good gross profit margins the, the actual gross profit margin is 90 percent, which is scary uh, the big thing the big cost they have is sales and marketing because at the moment the competition between cyber security companies at the moment is huge and that's the only concern that i have with dark trace and that's why dark trace will probably be only a medium sized position for me just because the um, marketing spend is so high and the competition is so high at the moment but the only worry i had was sales and marketing being a massive cost. Now actually when you look at the recent financials, the sales and marketing isn't growing as much as the revenue, which is obviously really positive. But also what I really like is when you actually look into the accounts, the actual churn rates are pretty low and you see actually the retention rates are really high. And if you actually look at the customers that are here, you'll see here that more and more customers are actually spending over a 100,000 with them. As you can see here, it's a, a lot bigger chunk that they're using uh, you know from 390 568 844 to 1235 and also what i like is they must have a very good platform and the customers must like that trace because um that trace here as you can see um they they currently have four four products as you can see here um and they currently have five percent using more products with them and then it was 24 percent, and then 39 percent, and 46 percent in the last uh, financial year so you can see it like the companies at the moment are using more of dark traces products which is really good so they must appreciate dark trace and they must think they have very good products as well and if they're more tied into using more products if you're only using uh like one product it's a bit worrying because like oh you know oh let's go to so and so because they are offering the same product and it's cheaper and just as good but if you're tied into using four four products from dark trace for example you think well we could move potentially away from dark trace but we have all of our other products with them so why would we want to move away and just getting sucked in a little bit more is very positive and that's probably why you can see here the the churn rate is pretty low um, and also if you look at the retention rate it's very high as well so the other concern that i did have was around the competition and the sales and marketing spend but as you can see here it's not growing as much as what the revenue is and also when you look at the the churn rate and also the amount of companies that are using more and more products with them that kind of resolved that issue there so yeah i did buy some more dark trace i would like this to be a medium sized position in the portfolio the only issue that i currently do have now is that it has been going a little higher in the last kind of few days which is a little bit annoying so uh, hopefully it can have a little bit of a pullback and then if that pullback does happen i can pick up some more shares but i did start a new position in dark trace in a, in a cyber security stock which is something that i've wanted to do for uh, a while and uh, eventually found the one at the what i thought was the right valuation and um i'm really happy to add this you UK growth stock into the portfolio anyway. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you could smash the like button if you're new around here, subscribe and I'll catch you in a bit guys.